in this topic and the subsequent ones we are going to discuss about the components of pre departure training pre departure training is one of the most important uh, um, components of uh, training that is given to international expatriate assignees uh, pre departure training uh, plays a very important role in making a person adjusted to the new culture so we are going to look at the various different components of pre departure training in this topic and the subsequent ones in this topic we are going to look at the component of pre departure training which is the preliminary visits so let's take a look what are pre preliminary visits preliminary visits are uh, basically visits which are designed to uh, help a person who is going on an international assignment to uh, assess their suitability regarding the culture and the position that they are going to hold in that international assignment so preliminary visit is uh, before actually giving the assignment to the person before actually selecting the person for that assignment uh, the person is sent on a preliminary visit sometimes the spouse and children they are also accompanying the person so that the, uh, they can go and see the culture they can go and see the facilities the way life is lived in that particular place so that they can know where they are going so ye ho sakta hai ki ek hafte ka ya do hafte ke liye visit karwaya jaye um jo aapke international expatriates hain unko kisi assignment ke liye bheja ja raha hai उनको प्रीलिमिनरी विजिट करवाया जाए कि ये जगह है ये शहर है ये फैसिलिटीज़ हैं यहाँ पे आपने काम करना है और दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज पार्ट ऑफ योर प्री डिपार्चर ट्रेनिंग पीपल हु गो ऑन दीज प्रीलिमिनरी विजिट्स दे गेट एन एक्सपोजर ऑफ द प्लेस दे गेट एन एक्सपोजर ऑफ द कल्चर दे गेट अ फील ऑफ द प्लेस द फील ऑफ द वेदर फील ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन so a preliminary visit can be a source of training uh, it can be a source of training in the way that a person will get trained and oriented towards the new environment in which they are going to go and live so preliminary visits they allow the candidates to assess their suitability aur agar unko ye lage ke wo is assignment ke liye suitable hain then they take up the assignment and uh, so that the uh, expatriate failure uh, rate can be reduced uh, it also helps them to assess the interest in their assignment so preliminary visit mein wo ja ke organization visit kare culture ko visit kare market ko visit kare aur usse unko ye realize uh, uh, they can realize ke unka is assignment ke andar kitna interest hai kyunki uh, सिर्फ बताने से बात जो है वो आमतौर पे समझ नहीं आती तो चीज़ों को देख लिया जाए तो आपको अपना इंटरेस्ट भी जो है वो उसमें आप यू कैन रियलाइज दैट हाउ मच यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट इट आल्सो प्रोवाइड्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू द बिजनेस कॉन्टेक्सट सो आपने किस एनवायरनमेंट में काम करना है आपने किस तरह के लोगों के साथ इंटरेक्ट करना है आपने किस तरह की मार्केट में सर्वाइव करना है आपका ऑर्गेनाइजेशन uh, का सेटअप किस तरह का है इवन टू द एक्सटेंड कि आपकी जो फैसिलिटीज़ हैं वो किस तरह से डिज़ाइंड हैं ऑफिस स्पेस किस तरह से डिज़ाइंड है ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं ये आपके बिजनेस कॉन्टेक्स का हिस्सा हैं सो ये दिस इज़ समथिंग विच इज़ पार्ट ऑफ यू कैन गेट इंट्रोड्यूस टू दिस एज पार्ट ऑफ द प्रिलिमिनरी विजिट इट लीड्स टू मोर इनफॉर्म प्री डिपार्चर प्रेपरेशन सो प्री डिपार्चर मीन बिफोर लिविंग योर होम कंट्री यू आर गोइंग टू द होस्ट कंट्री so you can prepare well you can prepare well in uh, you can prepare yourself mentally you can prepare yourself according to the requirements aapne kya cheeze saath mein leke jani hai kapde kaise saath mein leke jane hai bachcho ke liye kya cheeze leke jani hai kis tarah ki aap wahan pe life jo hai wo expect kar rahe hai so uh, all this type of pre departure preparation mental preparation as well as physical preparation can be done if a preliminary visit is given to the person it also helps in initial adjustment process because uh, if you are given a preliminary visit you know that where you are going and what kind of challenges you may be facing so it helps in the initial adjustment process
the data on uh, preliminary visits, um, the uh, data coming from research, it tells us that 53% of the firms, they always provided preliminary visits to their expatriate assignees, people who, are going, who were going on international assignments. And this was from a European survey in 1990, uh, 1997. Uh, average length of the stay was one week. Uh, country of assignment was the determining factor. If the country of assignment was uh, different, if it was, some, uh, if it was a country where the person had not visited, visited before, or the culture was different, or um, uh, the, the, there was possibility of uh, other type of uh, animosity or hostility, uh, then country of assignment was the determining factor in deciding about these preliminary visits. Uh, it was not provided to people if candidate were al already familiar. Uh, and a very interesting uh, fact which emerged out of it, this survey uh, was that if the host country is a place where nobody wants to go, then preliminary visits were not provided. So the organization, the multinational, when they were sending people to places, for example, hardship areas, or for places which the condition of living was very poor, or where different, kism, uh, different type of uh, uh, problems were expected, in that situation uh, where it was expected, then preliminary visits were not provided. So it was a very interesting finding that emerged out of this survey that the organizations, they actually withheld and they actually tried to trick, uh, you know, their, ex their, their employees to take up the assignment without providing them the preliminary visits. If they have seen it, then they will not go to assignment. Pe so they were actually, the, the information was actually hidden in this kind of a situation. So this is about the preliminary visits, uh, uh, when and how they are given, what are their um, uh, benefits, and what are the major features which are um, uh, regarding preliminary visits in international assignments.